I can't believe what's been happening to me lately. I'm sitting here, trembling, typing this out on my computer, desperately hoping someone can give me answers. I don't know where else to turn. I need to share this story with you all. Maybe someone out there has experienced something similar, something as horrifying as what I've witnessed. It all started exactly a week ago. I live in a quiet, peaceful town, one where everyone knows everyone else. We've never had much excitement here, and that was just the way we liked it. That was until I started seeing that symbol. It's a simple smiley face, but it looks sinister. It's always painted in red, and it looks like someone smeared it on whatever surface it graces. At first, I thought nothing of it, just another graffiti artist's tag. But then, something strange happened. Every time I saw that smiley face, someone died. The first incident was at a park, near the swings. I remember taking a stroll and seeing the smiley face painted on a park bench. It was dripping wet, as if it had been freshly drawn. Not long after, I saw an elderly woman sitting on that bench, gasping for breath. I rushed over to help, but before I could do anything, she collapsed, lifeless, right in front of me. The next time was even more chilling. I found the same red smiley face sticker on a lamppost just outside the local grocery store. I watched a man, presumably in his thirties, peel it off and toss it into the trash. He looked at it, laughed to himself, then went inside the store. Minutes later, I heard screams from inside. The man was lying motionless on the store floor, surrounded by horrified onlookers. I couldn't shake the feeling that something was terribly wrong. Every time I encountered that symbol, it was as if death itself lurked nearby. I had to know if anyone else was experiencing this madness, so I turned to Reddit, hoping to find answers, or at least some reassurance that I wasn't losing my mind. My first post was frantic, explaining everything I'd seen and felt over the past week. I asked if anyone else had witnessed the same sinister smiley face and the subsequent tragedies that followed its appearance. My heart pounded as I hit the submit button. Within minutes, responses started pouring in. Some thought I was trolling or seeking attention but a few people shared similar stories. One user recounted a tale of a friend who had died after peeling off a smiley face sticker from their car windshield. Another talked about a colleague who had seen the graffiti before being involved in a fatal car accident. The more replies I read, the more terrified I became. It seemed like this symbol had a dark connection with death, and I wasn't alone in witnessing it. My sense of dread deepened. Over the past week, I've seen that cursed symbol four more times. It's as if it's following me, haunting me, tormenting me. I've tried to avoid it, to stay indoors, but I can't escape it. Each time, I've watched someone's life end shortly after encountering it. I'm terrified for myself, but I'm even more scared for my community. I can't help but wonder if this symbol is a harbinger of death, a malevolent omen. Is it targeting us? Is it feeding off our fear? I don't know, but I'm desperate for answers. If anyone out there has seen this smiley face symbol and experienced what I have, please reach out to me. We need to figure out what's happening to stop this madness from spreading. I don't know if we're dealing with something supernatural or some twisted human intent, but together, maybe we can unravel the mystery and put an end to this nightmare. Hey there, fellow Redditors. I never thought I'd find myself in a situation like this, but I'm genuinely terrified, and I need your help. I'm convinced that my neighbor is a vampire, and things have taken a sinister turn. It all started a few months ago when my new neighbor, Mr. Landale, moved in next door. He's a charismatic guy, 
always dressed impeccably, and he seems wise beyond his years. He's got this seductive charm that's hard to ignore, and it's no surprise that he has a different woman over at his place every evening. At first, I didn't think much of it. I mean, it's not uncommon for people to have guests over, right? But then, things began to get weird. One day, as I passed Mr. Landale in the hallway, something strange caught my eye. There was no reflection of him in the mirror hanging in the hallway. I chalked it up to a trick of the light, but it left me with an uneasy feeling. Last week, I was coming back from work late in the evening when I noticed Mr. Landale opening his apartment door. I couldn't help but glance inside, and that's when I saw it, or at least I thought I did. It looked like a coffin, just standing there in the corner of his room. I couldn't believe my eyes. I started connecting the dots and researching vampire lore online. The more I read, the more convinced I became that my neighbor might be the real deal. But it wasn't until last night that things took a terrifying turn. I was in my apartment, trying to ignore my growing paranoia, when I heard a blood-curdling scream from Mr. Landale's apartment. It was unmistakable, and it sent shivers down my spine. Without thinking, I dialed 911 and told them what I've heard. The police arrived quickly and went to check it out. I watched from my peephole as they knocked on Mr. Landale's door. He answered calmly, with no sign of distress. They questioned him, but he denied any wrongdoing, and when they entered his apartment, there was no woman to be found. The police told me there was nothing they could do without evidence or a victim willing to press charges. They left, and I was left feeling like I was losing my mind. I swear I heard that scream, and I know something sinister is going on next door. Now, I can't help but think that Mr. Landale might suspect that I called the cops on him. I'm scared for my life, and I believe there's a vampire living in my apartment building. I need your help. Reddit, what should I do? How can I protect myself from a creature of the night? I'm desperate, and I fear for what might happen next. Please, if anyone has any suggestions or has been in a similar situation, Help me out. I swear this is true, and I need assistance fast. I don't want to become the next victim of my neighbor's dark secret. Hey everyone, I never thought I'd find myself in a situation like this, but I'm terrified and I need your help. About a month ago, something strange started happening in my apartment and I can't explain it any other way except to say that my neighbor put a curse on me. It all began when my friend Steve came over to hang out. We had a movie night planned, and he parked his car in the parking spot next to mine. It wasn't a big deal. He just didn't realize that it was my neighbor's spot. My neighbor, Mr. Blackwell, had been friendly enough when I first moved in, but lately, He'd been giving me nasty looks. The next morning, I found a note on my door. It was from Mr. Blackwell, accusing me of letting my friend park in his spot and warning me to never do it again. I was embarrassed and immediately texted Steve to be more careful next time. But that's when things started to take a terrifying turn. At night, I'd hear strange noises coming from the apartment next door. It started as faint whispers, like someone was muttering something unintelligible. At first, I brushed it off as my imagination playing tricks on me. But then it got worse. The whispers turned into a growling that seemed to come from right outside my bedroom window. It sounded like some kind of demonic chant, and it was loud enough to wake me from a deep sleep. I'd lie there in darkness, paralyzed with fear trying to convince myself I was just imagining it. But then I started seeing things. Shadow figures darted across my peripheral vision. I turned my head, and they'd vanish. I thought I was going crazy. 
I couldn't shake the feeling that Mr. Blackwell had something to do with all of this. I remembered hearing rumors from other neighbors that he was involved in some kind of dark, occult practices. I decided to confront him and ask if he'd cursed me. I knocked on his door, my heart pounding in my chest. Mr. Blackwell answered, looking more sinister than ever. I nervously asked him about the curse, and he just grinned, a wicked toothy grin. You brought this upon yourself, he hissed. You should have respected my parking spot. I was dumbfounded. How could he be so vindictive over a parking spot? I left his apartment in a hurry, feeling even more frightened and confused than before. The strange occurrences continued. One night as I lay in bed, I felt a cold hand grip my ankle. I screamed and kicked wildly, but there was nothing there. The next morning, I had dark, bruised marks on my skin, as if I'd been held down. I didn't know what to do. I tried researching curses and rituals online, but nothing seemed to match what I was experiencing. My sleepless nights were taking a toll on me, and I was becoming a nervous wreck. That's when I realized I couldn't handle this alone, so I'm reaching out to you, Reddit. Has anyone ever heard of something like this happening? How do you break a curse? I'm desperate, and I fear for my sanity. I can't go on like this, constantly hearing those vile whispers and seeing those menacing shadows. Please, if anyone has any suggestions or knows how to deal with a neighbor who might be dabbling in the dark arts, help me out. I'm terrified and I don't know how much longer I can endure this living nightmare.